guys, Matt V's Movies back for another video and today is another movie review um, of the film Prey, the new Predator film uh, that's just dropped on uh, Disney Plus in the UK. So yep, I had an opportunity to watch this um, and uh, I actually watched the Comanche version so it was dubbed in the original uh, Comanche language of the uh, Red Indians so I wanted to watch it with a little bit more of an authentic sort of um, view on it um, so yeah I'm going to give you my thoughts on that and uh, sort of what I thought of the film um, a little bit of facts information about the film on today's Matt's Movies Review so Prey is a 2022 film and it's an American horror science fiction action film directed by Dan Trachenberg and written by Patrick L. Asen, based on the Predator franchise. There are two release dates for this film, the 21st of July 2022 at San Diego Comic Con and then the general release um, in the United States on Hulu the 5th of August 2022 and certainly within the UK on Disney Plus. I'm not sure about other territories, but I'm guessing maybe it's it's gone to Disney Plus in many other countries as well. It's based on the characters by Jim Thomas and John Thomas. And the production company was the 20th Century Studios, obviously owned by Disney. The film ran for one hour and 39 minutes and then there's two ways of watching this film. Uh, you can watch it in the English um, version um, or there's an alternative on Disney Plus. If you go to the extra section, you can actually watch this in the Comanche language, um, which has been dubbed over um, the English uh, and you can use subtitles. And this is the way that I chose to watch the film on a first viewing. Just to give you a brief summary of the film, a skilled Comanche warrior protects her tribe from a highly evolved alien predator that hunts humans for sport, fighting against wilderness, dangerous colonizers, and this mysterious creature to keep people safe. Cast included, Amber Midthunder as Naru, Dane Deligro played the predator, Stephanie Mateus as Sumu and Dakota Beavers as Tabi. Okay, so on to my thoughts about this film. Okay, so the film is set in 1719 um, and it focuses on the Comanche um, Native Indian tribe. And we're kind of straight away introduced to the main character and she is sort of, um, she has a dog um, and she kind of goes hunting and um, you kind of see early scenes with her with an axe and her sort of uh, developing this axe, putting a rope on it and being able to use it to fling it across um, parts of the wood that she's in. Um, you know, and she's kind of training herself, um, to obviously to catch, um, you know, wildlife, obviously to eat. Um, she's part of a, um, obviously, um, a Comanche tribe and you get to meet sort of various, um, characters, um, within that tribe. Uh, the film pretty much opens where you sort of see, <coughs> um, her, hearing a sound um, whilst in the woods she sort of comes out of the sort of wooded area and onto a sort of um, cliff top and um, you briefly see sort of in the clouds obviously the predator ship um, so you know that uh, straight away that the uh, predator has come to earth and this very much fits in with the uh, sort of the canon of the um, Predator films. Um, uh, you're you're shown in Predator Two, uh, and again, spoilers um, if you've not seen this film. But I mean, it is some years ago now. 
this obviously starred Danny Glover and uh, towards the end of the film he actually um, <clears throat> actually goes on to the Predator ship and you see various artifacts around the ship one being a, a sort of a handgun musket gun um, from the year 1719 so they've obviously used uh, reference with that and kind of showing where that gun came from so much like the uh, first Predator film uh, starring Arnold Schwarzenegger, this film very much is kind of a similar vein. Uh, it's a very simple story about um, kind of surviving um, sort of one-on-one -on -one with a Predator. Um, it, um, it's, yeah, it, it's, it's kept very simple. Um, you've obviously got sort of um various characters throughout the film that um uh, come up against the predator uh without sort of going into it too much sort of spoiler territory or, but you can kind of get the idea as to what would happen in these sort of scenarios um it's done very well uh it's um i think having a simple story um sort of a strong female lead in it is a nice uh, difference to see. I mean, and we did kind of touch a little bit on that in uh, the original Predator film. It was obviously the character um, that um, Arnold Schwarzenegger was protecting. She came across as a strong female at times within that film. And we also got that within the, um, the um, Predators film. Uh, starring Adrian Brody, there was also a, a lady in that, and, and she came across as quite a strong character as well. So yeah, it was nice to see uh, sort of another strong female presence within the film, really sort of um, taking on the predator, um, you know, rather than the typical sort of male lead that we've had in the past. So that that was nice to see, without it again sort of feeling too forced, um, which. Me personally don't think we need that. Uh, it's, it's great to have sort of female leads and male leads equally in films. And as I say, I decided to watch this film in the, the Comanche language just to give it that little bit more sort of uh, authenticity, I suppose. I mean, obviously, it's a science fiction film. Um, you know, this isn't based on real life or anything like that. But it just, I don't know, I just thought, well... That's quite a nice idea that they've given the viewer the opportunity to watch it in the, the Comanche language. And I obviously put, put the subtitles on um, to help me sort of understand, obviously, what the characters were saying. And, yeah, it was, it was um, an enjoyable way of watching the film. Next time round, I shall watch it in the English language. Um, and I don't think it would sort of um, deter from my enjoyment at all um, but it was just nice to have that different experience first time viewing now let's get on to the sort of um, analysis of the predator himself um, again the design of this very different to what we've seen before um, I think they've sort of gone for a slightly sort of earlier version of the predator um, obviously he's still got a lot of tech on him um, but certainly the head mask that he wears seems a little bit more basic, almost like a skull kind of um, attachment, shall we say. Um, so that was diff interesting to see. I'm not 100% sure that I liked it as much as the original design. Um, and you didn't tend to see the predator's eyes from what I can remember obviously you could see the jaw and the, the you know the sort of um, exterior jaw part um, but it didn't seem as iconic as the original design um, so yeah whilst it was interesting to see something a bit different um, personally I would have preferred them to have kept with the original design that we all know and love now, just my sort of thoughts on the picture and sound quality. Now, obviously, I was streaming this through Disney Plus um, through my projector. And um, obviously, I have the capability of 4K HDR and Dolby Atmos. And this dis didn't disappoint at all. 
Um, there's a lot of scenes within this film that are set at night, um, very dark scenes, and the black levels were incredibly good. Um, even though this was on a stream, and often you can get that sort of blocking, um, but I didn't notice any sort of blocking artifacts. Um, so it was a, it was a good stream that I watched. Um, no complaints there. Uh, I can only imagine it on a 4K disc, it would be even crisper. And again, if you're watching this on a low lead, um, you certainly will get some good inky blacks um, on this um, on this film. Onto the sound again, I was able to stream it in Dolby Atmos, and uh, yeah, it's really good. Uh, there's some scenes sort of toward the beginning of the film, obviously when you can hear the Predator ship, and you certainly get some overheads. Um, towards the start of the film um, but you get a lot of good left and right separation a lot of rear effects um, things going on um, obviously you get the predator noise and the clicks and all this kind of thing but there's a lot of sort of um, uh, sort of background noise you know voices birds cheeping grunting of animals all this kind of thing so you're getting a lot of a lot of um spatula shall we say noise within the film so yeah a really good um a really good soundtrack and um yeah i would uh, you know think it, it's been done very well and so the question comes on to will this be released on physical media uh i really do hope it, it will be to be honest i think it, it will be a success this i think a lot of people will enjoy this film um after the sort of uh the predator which i know is really a lot of people don't like that film i don't mind it it's a bit daft a bit silly it's one of those sort of films um that you can watch um yeah it's not great at all but uh it's still enjoyable it's one of those films you love to hate sort of thing <laughs> um you know it's 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 still got fun about it so um but yeah, obviously it didn't do very well at the box office. And I think this is one of the reasons why they decided to um, go straight to streaming with this uh, next instalment. Now, I think he would have done really well at the theatre or at the cinema. Um, I think uh, they've missed a trick here. Um, but again, I suppose they didn't want to take that gamble. Um, but yeah, I'm really hoping that this will come to physical media. And I think it will make a, a cracking um, release. And um, maybe we might get some really nice sort of exclusives of this one. Um, only time will tell. But uh, it's not guaranteed because obviously it's it's Disney. And we all know that Disney aren't uh, one for wanting sort of a lot of physical media. But they do. They obviously do release stuff on physical uh, so yeah we'll wait and see see what happens on that one hey guys that was my review of prey um the new predator film so i really enjoyed this film um now where would i put this in the predator films ranking well i don't think it's the best predator film um that still for me is the arnold schwarzenegger original so that would be number one um number two i would still say predator 2 uh, i still really enjoy that film um i like the very sort of total uh difference between the two films obviously the first being set in the jungle and the second in the city and i just um yeah really really like that film there's just something about it i know it's considered not the best with a lot of people but i just like the um you know the 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 total different dynamics of it and and the ending for me is just fantastic when he goes in that ship so that's number two uh i would put this at number three uh definitely um i think it's been very well done very simple story um yeah uh really really good then i would put um predators in fourth place and then finally, The Predator, which I think we all agree is probably the weakest of the Predator films. So that's where I would sort of put this film in the ranking. 
of um, the Predator franchise. Anyway, I hope you've enjoyed the review. Take care and see you in the next one. Bye now.